Look at me now. Oh. I'm getting paper. Look at me now. Oh. Look at me now. Okay, welcome back to creating a flyer using Photoshop. This is probably the last step that we have to do in finishing off this flyer. The last stage is uh, creating these stars that you see here. Got a star there, you have a star here, you have a star by her earring, things like that. And that was using this layer here. What I'm going to do is show you how I created these stars by actually creating a brush. So let's go to it. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a new document, which I just use Control N, and that'll pull up a new document. I selected Photo because Photo gave me a, an area of a uh, five by seven. Uh, I'm using RGB color, and my resolution is going to be 300. And we're going to click OK to open a new document. Okay, we have our white background layer. So what we want to do now is select a new layer, and we're going to start to make our star brush here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go over to the uh, elliptical marquee tool, which is right here. Come down to elliptical marquee, and then you want to make a long, flat type of an oval here. Right about there is fine. Okay and now you want to fill that in with a gradient so let's go over to the gradient palette and select the colors now you want your star to kind of be bright in the middle and kind of fade off into the distance like a normal star does so in Photoshop when I'm creating a brush Photoshop only really recognizes black and white so we're actually going to make the star black and then transfer the color over and make it white later so what I'm going to do on this gradient is have my stops be white on the outside and black in the middle. And let's press OK. So now we're going to go from the left side, click hold, press shift, release the mouse, and we have our first gradient. Now what we're going to do is control J to duplicate that layer. So what we want to do now is take this top layer and make it go vertical. So what we want to do is press control, click to activate that layer. We want to go over to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and then that will give us a vertical. So now we already can start seeing the star starting to transform here. Let's go ahead and deselect that, control D, and we have the outer part of the star that we're going to use. Okay, now let's merge the top layer and the first layer together by pressing Control E and that will bring those two layers together. We're going to deselect the background layer which is white because we don't want that in our star. And now we just have the star on a transparent background. Now let's make the star preset. Go over to edit, come down to define brush preset and we're going to name it my star. Very nice. Okay. So now we've just defined that as a, as a brush. So let's go back over to our brush palette. And it should be the last brush that we just made, which is right here. As you can see, it's, it's, it's very similar to the star we just made, which is actually huge. So we don't want that big of a star on our actual photo, so let's bring that down to about 75 pixels. Alright, so let's go over to our photo, and you can see we brought the star in. We're going to deactivate that layer here to make our own stars. Let's create a new layer. And these are going to be our own stars. We'll just add a star here or there. So as you can see these stars are kind of turned straight up and down and we might want these stars to be on a 45 degree angle. Let's go over to our preset palette and you can see over here where it has a flip it has an angle here and different uh, they have the roundness here. What I want to do is make that angle 45 degrees and you notice down here my star has turned 45 degrees 
I can also take this arrow here and turn it whichever way I want. If I actually flip on the other side and you see the arrow show up on this side, I can flip on the Y axis or the X axis, which you won't see any difference here because it's square. We'll undo that and we'll just make it 45 degrees. So now when I come back in, go ahead and close this. I can make the, well, let's bring the star down a little bit by pressing the left bracket. So now when I come down, I can make it on a 45 degree angle. Put a star there. Uh, let's put a star here. And that's the stars on the 45 degree angle. Now let's say we want to make a star similar to this one here, which is like a star with four sides on it and a little bit of shade in the middle. Go ahead and uh, add that now. So let's go back to the star that we created. We're going to add a new layer. Actually, before we add a new layer, we're going to duplicate the layer below it. So let's Control J that, and we want to turn this this duplicate layer on a 45 degree angle. Let's go over to Edit, Transform. We want to rotate it 45 degrees. Come up here where the degrees are. Rotate it. 45 degrees, enter, and now we want to bring it down a little bit. So let's go back to edit, transform, and scale it down. You can also press Control T for those of us that already know that. Now let's go with um, Shift and Alternate and start scaling it down right about there. That's very nice. And go ahead and press OK. Now we want that little bright spot that we have in the middle here. So let's go ahead and go to that layer that we created up here now and go over to our brushes palette and we're going to pick a nice soft round brush. This one's nice. Let's uh, bring that up a little bit. Right bracket. And what we're going to do is go to the middle of that brush and click a couple of times. Let's go one Oh, make sure that's black because it needs to be black. Let's go ahead and undo that and make this black. And one, two, three, four, five times. There you go. So now that's going to be our new star. So let's go back over and define that as a star. So go to edit, come down to define brush preset, click OK, and we'll call that my star 2 why not okay okay so now we've defined this star we're going to bring it down to about 75 pixels there you go and on, let's bring it into our flyer let's go ahead and create a, a new layer there and let's make this white because we have white stars, of course. The star has already been selected from the last time, so go ahead and start adding the star. Put one by her ear, that's probably too big. Let's bring it down. Left bracket. Looks like she has a shiny earring there. The star there. You might want to put a, a bigger star here. Bring it up a little bit. And you can pretty much go crazy with the stars. Just as a side note, if I went into my uh, presets again, I can also change the dynamics of this brush. For example, I can make the brush kind of spread out a little bit. I press scatter. I can bring the scatter out. You can see that kind of scatters it a little bit. I can also change the shape of it or the jitter. And let me give you a little, little bit of an example of what that does. Let's bring it down really small to about 30 pixels. And what I can do is I can drag stars all over my my picture if I want. That looks pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's try that again. I'm clicking and dragging the stars all over, and that is just because I selected scatter and uh, jitter. And that made stars all over. So that's stars. Let's go ahead and deactivate that layer. 
And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are done with our flyer. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you've watched the whole tutorial with me from the beginning to the end. As I said in my first tutorial, what I am doing is learning actually how to create tutorials from the website that I'm building, and I'm going to show uh, users how to maneuver my website. So I want to learn how to create tutorials for them. So I decided to create tutorials for you, so actually practice learning how to create tutorials. So from beginning to end, this is a, a pretty cool flyer. As you can see, I have uh, several other flyers that I've already created, and. Like I said before, a lot of them have half-naked women on them because a lot of my clients want uh, club flyers where they're, uh, you know, looking kind of sexy there. But uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.